I am a registered cardiovascular general and OBGYN sonographer since 2008. Today at National Ultrasound, I have the GE Volusan E10, which of course is known for its women's health care image quality. But today I want to show the vascular quality of this machine. I'm going to show you how to determine the difference between the ICA and the ECA in a carotid ultrasound. So first off, we're going to hit probe. We're going to select your correct probe that we're going to use. And for a carotid, we use a linear 11. And then I am going to choose general cardiac. You can use general carotid. You also have another carotid but it's up to you on what your preference is. So, of course you're gonna have the notch pointed at your right. All right, so, you can see there's my common carotid, and I angle up, and there's two. On the cross section, on the, typically on most people, your internal carotid artery is the bigger one. And your smaller one is the ECA, but that's not always true. So let's look in long view. The most telltale sign to tell if it's an external versus internal carotid artery is through the branches on a extracranial carotid ultrasound. The ECA is the only vessel that you can see branches off of. Let's see if that's easy enough for this. toward my face. There's the ECA. England toward my back. There's the ICA. But I can't see any branches on mine. So let's do the telltale sign. Do pulse wave Doppler. So this vessel has a low resistance waveform. You can tell from the even upstroke and continuous diastolic blood flow. So it has constant blood flow. So it's going to our brain and this is the ICA. Let me unfreeze it. I'm gonna to angle toward my face. You can tell the difference as a high upstroke, a dichrotic notch, so it has a peak velocity, and then back to baseline for end diastole. So it is a high resistant vessel. And this is the ECA. The ECA supplies blood to your face, so it's high resistant, not continuous blood flow. And you are angling toward your face to get the ECA. To get the ICA, you angle toward your back because it's going up your neck to your brain. So, this is an easy way when you can't see branches off the ECA to distinguish between the internal and external, common, the external carotid artery. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, you have a good day.